One of the biggest barriers to patients receiving deep brain stimulation for certain conditions is lack of knowledge. Not only are patients sometimes unaware that deep brain stimulation may be a good option for them, but quite often their general practitioner and even their neurologist may also be unaware that this technique can be offered to treat them very, very effectively. As a consequence of this, we recommend that patients be reviewed earlier rather than later by experts in the deep brain stimulation field. This allows us to explain to them and to communicate with their GPs and their neurologists about the possible benefits of deep brain stimulation and whether or not this may become a viable option for a particular patient down the track. I often find that if patients have seen me several years ago, they'll go away and have more medications and get on with their life, but they'll come back to me a lot earlier down the track and they'll come back to me with a greater degree of confidence and comfort in order to be able to have surgery at a time that's right for them. As a general rule, deep brain stimulation often becomes an option once patients get to the point where they're either not getting the same benefit from their medication that they were getting before, or that they're getting significant side effects that they can't tolerate.